Welcome back to Learn SKN and today we have a relatively short video for you. This video would be for number 5 and number 6 for the May-June 2017 CSEC Agricultural Science well, Single Award Paper 2. And so before we get started, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell and of course subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And so once that is out of the way, we can roll now. Now these questions from 27, 2017 and b before 2017, 2016, 2015, 2014, those years, they had a format where they had relatively short answer questions for the first five or six short answer questions and then you go into longer answer questions. And so they were very short. Number five alone is just four marks and number six is four marks also. And so that's why they are so short, it's going to be a shorter video. Now from 2018 now, let's change the format we, which allowed for each question to be valued at 10 marks. And so we're going to jump into the 2018 paper and the 2019 paper after we finish the 2017 paper. Alright, so without delaying anymore, let's jump into number 5. So you have the bird here, the poultry bird, and you have the digestive system of the bird, and you are to name, identify the parts labeled X and Y. And so, we know the esophagus, then after the esophagus, you have what you call the crop, right? So X is the crop. And then Y would be the seeker. So if you look at the diagram right here, you'll see that Y is the seeker, those two things, and the X is the crop. And then the diagram right here in the textbook, we have the esophagus followed by the crop that is used for storage. And then you have the seeker right here. All right, so that's it for that question. Then they ask, a boiler bird weighs 2.5 kilograms after slaughter. The offal and feathers weigh 0.5 kilograms. Calculate the dressing percentage showing all workings. And so the dressing percentage would be what percentage of the bird, the bird, what, what weight the bird weigh when it has been slaughtered compared to how it was when it was alive. And so the, the formula for that one would be the dressing weight, which is this one, after it was slaughtered, over the live weight. And we know the live weight for this one is 3 because it's 2.5 plus 0.5, you get 3 kilograms. So that's a live weight. So if you pull up our calculator right first, simple, very simple maths, no high powered maths here, then we know that the live weight of the bird would have been the 2.5, 2.5 plus the 0.5, you get 3 kilograms, oh boy, you get a 3 kilograms, 2.5 plus 0.5, you get a 3 kilograms, and so that's the live weight. Now to find the dressing, the dressing percentage, what you do is take the, the slaughtered weight, the dressing weight, which is 2.5, and you put it to 2.5 over 3 times 100 and you get 83%. So the answer is 83%, but of course you have to show all working. And just like that, you have two easy marks. Then number six, you have a table here, and it says, the table shows two breeds of livestock reared in the Caribbean. State the purpose for which each breed is reared. Write your answer in table one. So you have the Jamaican Hope, and you have the Barbados Black Belly. Now what are they reared for? Now the Jamaican Hope is a dairy cattle. So it's reared for milk. It's reared for dairy purposes, for milk. So the Jamaican Hope is reared for milk. And the Barbados Black Belly is a sheep. And that one is reared for meat. It's reared for its mutton. So it's reared for its meat. You cannot, we, the wool isn't thick enough to be reared for the wool. The, Jam the Barbados Black Belly is reared for meat. Jamaican Hope is a dairy cow. And it's reared for milk. So that's the answer for that one. And then the last one for number six. A cattle farmer notices that his healthy cow fails to conceive after several attempts of mating with the same bull. Such as two methods that he could use to overcome his problem. And so, so two methods would be one, AI or artificial insemination. That's where the farmer can take the sperm from another bull or from his very same bull and either he himself or a veterinarian would go and inject the sperm directly into the female, right into the female cow and so you would be, have a stand a greater chance of it get um be conceiving and so that's the artificial insemination that's one two is what you call embryo transfer 
where the farmer can take the can have the egg and the sperm fertilized in a different cattle and then transplant that embryo into his healthy cow and then that will bring it to term and so you can use that method also so you have the artificial insemination you have the embryo transfer so those are two methods you can use to overcome the conceiving issues that the farmer is having right and so that's basically it for question five and six and like i said those were short little questions back then but it has changed since then and so we're gonna look at the after we finish 2017 we look at 2018 where you see each one is worth 10 max 10 max right there 10 max 10 max and then you have 10 max each question is worth 10 max and you have 10 questions and so that's you know how the maths go on that one Right, so that's what we're gonna look at in the next the rest after we finish this one. Sorry, it's only six ma six questions, guys. Sixty, sixty percent, and then the multiple choice is the other forty percent, and you know how that goes. So yes, we, so we're gonna stay here for now, right? We're gonna stay here for now, but the only way you know when Learn SKN drops the next video, question seven and eight, for the May June twenty seventeen single award agricultural science paper two is by liking the video please like the video subscribe and hit the notification bell all right so that's it for now thanks for watching thanks for listening